The Maasai are an indigenous pastoral society with a rich and vibrant oral history. Their traditional knowledge, often narrated in the form of songs, stories, poetry, and chants, contains a wide range of knowledge about traditional medicine, grazing practices, landscape ecology, and the behavior of animals. For the Maasai, cows are everything. Food, material, culture, and rituals. Cows are life. I hope your cows are well, they say in greeting one another. Cows are a symbol of wealth and a source of pride. A Maasai person's entire life revolves around the herd, the need to pasture and care for them, the need to protect them, and the need to move with them in search of fresh pasture and water. Animals talks. You say, oh, 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 oh. We need them to make noises so we can get rain. This is our belief. In a few days or the next day, it will rain. And it will rain. It was a way for them to, commun to communicate with us. That's why I say the lion is very important for us to be in our area. We don't have like international things that are showing the weather that's will rain. No, we we get we get to know about weather through animals like a lion. There are also the medicine for our cow. Eh? We don't know where we get a medicine to treat their cow eyes, but easily the high sheet in lion is really medicine for it. When a cow ages or has an infection that causes blindness, the Maasai mix together a medicinal paste made of hyena and lion droppings. This paste is used as an ointment for the cow's eyes. It clears the cow's eyes and allows them to see again. They're part of our, our life, but now they disappear. When I have this program called Maasai Cultural Safari, a lot of uh, people say, oh, where can we get a skin of leopard? Well, we can get a, a, a head or just a nail of uh, a lion. I'm thinking about where you get it without killing a lion. Is there any way you can get it? No. But this also the company, they have this big shop. They sell like a skin leopard, a lion skin, a head, a tooth, a nail. So I'm thinking about where these people are getting their thing. They are really needed to be something to do and to try to save them because they've been killed for business. They've been killed for just taking a head. So we call them a uh, hunting company. Someone can order, just order, I want a female lion. Or I want a male lion with big, big hair. They sell for a lot of money, a lot. The government do nothing. They're making money. I could say 90% of income generating of Tanzania is from the national parks. I have seen this many times in different cities in, in Tanzania. You see all the pictures, and even from the Tanzania government, is for Maasai and animals. But my question every day is like, why don't they are protecting them then, if they, if they like them? We live with, with these animals. We have been living with them for all our life, when, since we were born. But we never killed it for business. We never killed it for purpose, you know. Someone on the head, you just kill a lion because you want it, or you kill a leopard. We kill only when the lion did something not good for us. And it's not easy to kill like they just shoot it when they see it and that's they killed it. Sometimes we go to fight with a lion, but we cannot kill him, we can run away and we cannot find him. So it's not like but when they decided to kill it, they kill it. Because when they see it they just shoot it and kill it. The only time when we kill a lion is 
only when the lion killer comes. And that happened only when the time we are only here. We believe that uh, even anybody killing like animals, especially on the lion, the cats, the cheetah, we, cheat, we, we kill them. many, many of them during the weekend years. Or we believe that it like, brings them like a better. It looks like uh, if we don't protect them in a couple of years, we will not have any, any lion. Yeah. We will, we will, what, what can we tell our children yeah. if there is no lion? We are not getting used to, to show things like a picture or like a, uh, books. No, because my community don't know how to read. We get everything from the, the Maasai history, we get everything from uh, seeing life like a lion. It's not something we have to learn from book. Mm -hmm. So it looks like if we are losing all the animals, and we lose, I mean we lose the environment, and then we lose the Maasai community, because without environment, there is no Maasai.